Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For you guys that don't know, my name is Stephanie and I currently live in Australia. Today, I wanna to take you to one of my favorite places to go eat in Melbourne. It's called South Melbourne Market. <laughs> it's south of Melbourne and it's a market, but it's not just any market, it's actually one of Melbourne's oldest market. There, you can find a whole range of different things like food and shops and stalls and fruit and veggies. But today, I wanna to show you all the great places that you can go to eat there. So, without any further ado, let's get eating. <laughs> So South Melbourne Market is a place where people go for their local groceries, whether it's veggies or deli meats or cheese, but I come here for the patisseries. Agatha brings a slice of France to Melbourne. They serve freshly baked goods every day and it's so incredible and fresh and so good. You guys have to go. So first off, we're starting with my favorite pastry place of all time. It's Agatha Pastry. This place opens up at eight o'clock and as you can see, there's always a bloody line. So make sure you get there in early because they do sell out quite quickly. Here I've got two of my all time favorites. We've got the pandan croissant and a rhubarb turnover. So, oh, and this is a custard flan, which is okay. <laughs> but these two, they're really, really, really good. So let's get eating. This here is the pandan croissant, which is so unusual, right? Like, I feel like pandan is such an Asian flavor and to have it with a croissant is so unique, but they do it really well. Like this icing over here has that slight sweetness for the pandan and I can't wait to show you guys the inside. Let's eat. Mm. Mm. It's so sugary. <laughs> Can you guys see all the different layers? It's so buttery and it's so flaky and green. Yeah, this one is a must try when you come to South Melbourne Market. Another reason why I love this one so much is actually because this one is my mom's favorite. Yes, Mama Fam approves, so whenever I eat it, it really makes me miss my mom. <laughs> Next up, we have a rhubarb turnover. I love rhubarb because it has this extra tartness to it, but this one in particular, the pastry is so flakery and like on top, I don't know, it's like so sugary and ah, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna eat it because I'm really excited to eat it. Mmm, that's so good. This is my favorite. You're hungry. Mm. 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 I need a bib. If you want something sweet and tart, this is it. This is it. This is like the best thing they have there. This here is a custard flan. Um, yeah, let's see how we go with this one. It's very dense. It's like, this has got some weight to it. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm. I guess the pastry is like, the best. But that custard, it's creamy, it's dense, it's sweet. Mm. Man, if I eat this, I'm gonna like, just fall into a coma right away. <laughs> To balance out all the sugar and all the sweetness, I definitely recommend going to Clement and getting yourself some coffee. I personally get a batch brew. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> it's so important to explore around South Melbourne Market because you never know what you're gonna find. Here at Canteen, we found these mouth-watering little treats that I can't wait to share with you all. Canteen, we're walking past and we saw this bacon cup and we just had to get it because it looks so damn good and it's still warm. Wow! Oh my god, guys, this looks unreal. Look at that, there's bacon, there's egg, that looks like mushroom, and some chutney. What? How am I gonna eat this? <laughs> Thank you, my calorie. Oh my god, it looks so good. <gasps> Pray for me. Yeah, but nah, man. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so oily. Oh my god, oh my god. This is, this is gonna be bad. Right now, how am I gonna eat this? Isn't this <laughs> Sure, this is not sour. You're supposed to eat it. Mmm, bacon is good. Mmm, the chutney is really nice. Mmm, oh my god. Oh, it's all spinach and egg inside. That's so yum. This is so oily, though. Holy moly. <laughs> if you eat this, please ask for a fork and knife. One of the main reasons to come here is the fresh produce. If you're looking for fresh seafood, South Melbourne Market has it, and I highly recommend it. Bye. So many people. You have to come early. Yeah, definitely come early. Here at After Seafood, they're really well known for their fresh seafood that you can eat on the spot, including sashimi and uni, 
Like, come on, where in Melbourne can you find fresh uni for ten dollars? It's actually really good too. So this place here is really well known for their fresh seafood. So whenever I come here, I always get myself like a fillet of tuna or salmon. In this case, scallops. So if you want super fresh, gosh, I feel like everyone in Japan is cursing me <laughs> for stabbing it, but there's no chopsticks, gourmet. <laughs> That's so fresh. I really like this place. They're so nice. They spice it all up for you as well. Yeah. I did a scallop. These scallops are massive. Oh my gosh. Mmm. <laughs> so, so fresh. Oh shit. Okay, so I'm kind of cheating with this next place because it's not exactly in South Melbourne Market. In fact, it's around the corner. Hector's Deli is known for their sandwiches, but they're not your ordinary sandwiches because they're made to absolute perfection. I'm telling you now, this one that I'm about to introduce, you guys need to get it, like right now. So we're at Hector's Deli and they're really well known for their sandwiches. And today we have a beef and pickle one with extra sauce. Look how intense this looks. <laughs> Toasted to absolute perfection. Oh my gosh. I can feel like, oh, this is heavy. She's dead. Them juices. <laughs> Alright. Pray for me. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is so worth the hype, guys. Oh. Can't speak. Must speak. Mm. Mm. The pickles, like, even if you don't like pickles, these pickles are so good. They just cut through everything in the sauce. Yeah. I reckon, <laughs> it's like dripping everywhere. Oh no. I recommended the sauce. Yes. Get the sauce. If the food hasn't convinced you guys to come, you guys definitely have to check out South Melbourne Market because they have such interesting, cute little boutique stores where you can find little knickknacks and different things and handmade pasta. Like, come on, guys. I have so many places I want to recommend in here and I just don't have enough space in my stomach nor time to do so. Like, I really wanted to show you guys these donuts, but yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> I'll be back. Alright guys, that's it for the video for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are still here, tuning in, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me stuff my face once again with all the food. There is so many places to go in South Melbourne Market and I'm so sad that I couldn't take you to more places, but you girl can only eat so much in one day as much as I try to. <laughs> but if I've missed any of your favorite places there, please let me know so I can go check it out once more. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks guys, hope to see you in the next one. Bye. I can't look at food anymore. I'm getting a headache from all the sugar.